We have an awesome show for you guys today. The greatest defender of all time. Good news for the sport. Welcome to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. This is season four, episode seven, John. You are fresh back from Lexington with some wind burn. Oh man, yeah, it was cold. Was it? It was cold here. I've gotten soft, yeah, but you know what? When I'm here and I tell people up north that it's cold, I find that humorous. I'm like, ha! Yeah, it's, right? It's so but cold. But it was really cold. But I was up there and people down here were telling me it was cold and I was, it wasn't nearly as funny. Not exactly. Uh -huh. So how cold was it up there? It actually wasn't that bad, but it was windy. Thank God, but it was, it was weird. It was, and it was I, didn't dress, I didn't dress appropriately. Well, you never do. No, I was like, I actually had to go inside and put on, I, had, I think I had five layers on, but they were all thin layers and they were all the same size, so it was really tight was it, and restrictive, it was terrible. <laughs> so I did hear, of, you told me that you incorporated some stuff from a Lucinda Green clinic. Yeah, I got to actually send her a message. It was, um, it was kind of fun. So she did the bounce thing. Right. And the, the clinic. The four. The four bounces mm -hmm. and then you sort of snuck in and right. popped it's through a couple. It was hard to do. It was really hard. So I made it. Uh, I did three angled verticals, like offset angled right. verticals, and I made them come in there, and they looked at me like I was insane, and I was like, I know, right? Crazy. But it was... You, did, you didn't even make them do it the way Lucinda made them. No, it. that seemed a bit extreme for me. Well, you know, I was just trying to figure this out, but... It's I, amazing that everybody can do that, though. It's absolutely, really and like, what, it was starter horses were doing right, it. It right, was, right. and it was super helpful for them. And I don't know, I always try to, you know, you do these clinics. I do, I do a fair bit of clinics every year, and... I think it's good, especially when it's places you go back to, right. bring in some fresh things. Right. And so whenever I lesson with somebody or I clinic with somebody, I try to incorporate something new. So well, I, I did that. It was helpful. It was it, fun. It's interesting because um, she changes her stuff, but she doesn't at right. the same time. Like that bounce thing, the four bounces in a row, she, we didn't do that before. No, I've never done it with her. I mean, I've done that exercise. But I time, understand but the like concept. That. The concept is to get the horse to think for itself going in and yep. figuring it all out. And obviously us, because I'm, I mean, you try to maneuver through that stuff and you get yelled at for if you don't have the right line or you don't have this. Um, I don't do any yelling, but it was. She does. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. It was good. So what did you do this past weekend? Um, this past weekend was Easter weekend. So happy post Easter, everybody. We um, had friends over, Chase and Tommy, who went to Africa with us. And we just found him an Irish draft sport horse that goes back to cross town dresser, which, oh, dancer. Cross always, dresser? I always wanted to, I was calling it when I was doing a post. When I was doing and he's a, sponsored by Budweiser. When I was doing, <laughs> when I was, that's so funny, it's not yeah. transgender. Uh, well, I mean, whatever. So, um, but yeah. Uh, but it's, it's whatever it I wants to wanted, be. Right? I almost posted cross dresser. I was like, that looks wrong. Yeah, it's, it's Crosstown Dancer. Crosstown Dancer, which is a which very is evidently a totally very, different, very good Irish horse over there, right? Along with Flagmont, Flagmont, um, and AP Indy. It's got a thoroughbred. Awesome. Too. Yeah, it's cool. a cool horse. So they came. We did, of all things, for Easter, we did turkey. Well, that's good. I did a hamburger in the Cincinnati airport, which I heard breaks you say a lot that. of rules. So sad for you. You know what? And then we got to get on to like horse stuff here, but it was actually, it was fine. Like, I honestly, we're not, I'm not big on Easter, well, which we, is terrible. Like I appreciate Easter and Jesus and it's not that I'm not like religious, but I just kind of forgot it was Easter. Yeah, you said you were a bad Catholic. I was, I'm, you know, I was raised Catholic and apparently I'm really bad because I found out Wednesday that it was Easter weekend. <laughs> what? Yeah, and I know. Oh, come on. I know. I well, know. I'm sorry. You know, we, Easter used to be real big when we had kids yeah with little and you did the easter egg hunts and briggs was reminding them i know. usually got a can of spray cheese spray cheese it was big we got a thing of ritz crackers and that, that easy cheese not, spray cheese that was nothing that we did okay nope. anyway, sorry go ahead that's because you're from a cheese state yeah exactly wisconsin cheese that's right it was great it was bacon flavored uh, that doesn't sound good oh yeah i'm gonna bring some next time you're gonna love it we well, should have brought it. the mac the big mac for mia well yeah we'll get into that we'll have to yeah we have two great it. guests coming up yeah right so we decided to go with mia farley who was on our first show correct yep in season one yep. episode one at and the horse trailer pros the old location right. we did it at with the, alex o'neill at the desk mm -hmm. it was mia oh and congratulations alex. alex and um 
Ellie. Ellie on your new child. Angus. Angus, I love the name. Yeah, that was her dad's name. Uh, the name really, I like her, it. Her Congratulations, name. it was a boy, which they knew. Yep. But good job, so both y'all kind of circled around on the show. Yep. Right? Yep, so we got Mia back and then Zach Brandt. So it was just exactly. like, oh, great. Yeah. And the reasons we have them. It's because they're awesome. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. But uh, because they're both going to Kentucky, I think Mia has two in the four short and Zach has one in the five. That's right. So we're going to do that. Um, so yes, yeah, so then this past weekend also was Stableview. Stableview happened, yeah. And, and the week before that was Terra Nova. Yes. So Stableview, I was told from sources, was actually a really good course that Mark did some really interesting, cool things. Um, and Mark did Terra Nova. And Mark did Terra Nova They weren't as well. so cool. Yeah, I thought the course was disappointing Terra Nova. Yeah. Um, but apparently Stableview, he got it really good. And um, that's not to say Terra Nova wasn't great, but just as well as I understand course what you're design. saying. Everybody yeah. knows what you're saying. Yeah. Um, so anyway, but I was told the courses were beautiful at uh, Stableview and... They did get a bunch of rain on Saturday after the four ran, um, but Liz Halliday won that, which I'm is... Cooley Quicksilver. Which is of interest because she actually won at Terra Nova as she well. She did on uh, the on. other one. Hold on, I got it. I got it right here. I'm you so prepared. Well, while you're doing that, I know that off the record Cooley was... Cooley Be Cool. Cooley Be Cool at Terra Nova. Yes. So I, I saw an interview with her. I heard she took her less experienced string to Terra Nova and then the mo more experienced because I think De Niro Z was also at um, Stableview. I don't have it here, sorry. Well, I know he was. Okay. Um, off the record, Will Coleman yep. uh, was second. Yep. Um, and then third was, I've got that one. Keep talking so I can find it. Um, okay, well, so. Oh, I got I it, Doug Payne. Exactly? Doug Payne, Doug Payne on quantum. Perfect, <laughs> don't put me on the spot. I've had three hours of sleep, Rick. <laughs> Jeez, you can Louise. do it. Doug Payne and then Boyd on Contessa. She's back. Yeah. And then Liz again on Mix Master C. Cool horse that Maya Black brought up the ranks. Yep. And um, Liz is on now. And then De Niro Z uh, was uh, sixth. Awesome. Yeah, it seems like you, they had the stable view horses. That's, I think, historically the date that you would have the horses getting ready to go to, go to Kentucky. Right. So I think you had a lot of those horses. And then I think... Terra Nova, you had some Kentucky horses, especially Florida-based horses, um, but I think that probably is more the horses that were getting ready for four longs this year. Sure. So. Well, and so with that wrapping up, I know Terra Nova um, was <clears throat> was good for you. Yeah. You had a good run on your three-star horse. The horses are the three and the two-star horse are both good, and they're ready to go um, to Ocala for good. the longs there. And Elisa, that box. Elisa had. Um, Won the one star on the Telemari Fifi, which Briggs, myself, and Elisa owned together. Yep. Uh, she had an unfortunate glance off at the back corners on the on her second advance with that uh, Rinkum Corsair. Yep. And I've measured it all out and ready to set it up at home. Because <laughs> she called you. Yeah. She's like, "You got to set this up." So I went out there and like pasted it off. I have all the <laughs> notes in my phone for where to put That's everything. Funny. It's all set. To I work. mean, she's trying to figure the horse out. And Woods is here too, by the way, with Mia. And bidding is always an issue, right? You try to figure out what control, what control you don't have. And she had something with more control on the back corner. Yeah. And I think she, she had more than she thought. And the horse typically would do it, would have done it in the four, and she, he grabbed at the wrong time. And, right. You know, it was, it was a tough line, though. Yeah. I have to say, I watched a lot of horses go down there and chip in the fifth stride, and yep. it was tough. Yep. So, so we'll, anyway, we'll keep working on it. But one more wrap up. Don't try to wrap me up. No, I'm not. I just want to make sure I get our thing in, but go ahead. Keep oh, going. what's that? No, no, go. I was just going to say, Terra Nova did throw a, a wrench into Briggs's plans. Um, well, he, they didn't. Terra the Nova did didn't. not. Sorry. To, to be clear, FEI threw a wrench into Briggs's plans where there's two three-star horses, and so he had to withdraw after show jump, in which they wouldn't allow his customized walrus bit, which has been allowed in seven FEI competitions, not to be used and we're so we're going head to head with fei to kind of solidify why that's happening from a rule that they've noted and we are you're in, arguing that the the rule does allow him to use right it. so you're in serious contract negotiations with the fei that's correct but terra nova was awesome terra nova was terrific hannah and zach did a great job with their you know the yeah the area and the, and the place looked great um 
I'm just waiting for all the apartments to be made above the barn so we can just sleep up there. Yeah, there you go. Um, so just to wrap it up. Wrap it up fast. Got 18 seconds. Don't forget, Let's we need to talk about this when Mia comes on as well in front of every segment we've got to talk about. The fact that our t-shirts are going to be out at Kentucky. You guys can go to I Love My Horse, who also, you're going to check out their awesome new ad. Um, and you're going to get your t-shirts there. There are 100 free t-shirts. First come, first serve. You go get them. You get Mia and Zach and all the other riders to sign Woods. them. Whoever had, and Woods, sorry, Woods, um, whoever has the most autographs gets to come on the show. Yeah, and you can't fake the autographs. So we're going to know. We're going to know. I know I'm me a handwriting Woods, expert. Handwriting, we're going to have it all done. So yeah, yeah we go. got this. All right, so we're going to be right back with, with Mia. Mia Farley. All right. Want to advertise on the John and Rick show? Contact John at 352 875 8622 or call Rick at 850 879 2649. I Love My Horse Eventing Boutique has been serving event riders for nine years with its mobile trailer. They have traveled up the East Coast and as far west as Montana. We look forward to seeing you all at their 30 by 30 booth in spot 108 on the main floor at the Land Rover Kentucky three-day event. They have many items including breeches, tall boots, helmets, show coats, show shirts, equine books, horse feed advisors, and are your complete cross-country supply center. Brands like Shockmo, Good Rider, Fair Play, RJ Classic, Castle, Nunfinder, Brands of Q, KER Feed, Trafalgar Square, Newt Feed, Tonics, and Eco Gold. Plus, guys, don't forget this is the place to go to get your John and Rick Show shirt to be able to get all the autographs so that you can win the grand prize of coming on the John and Rick Show. Make sure you check out I Love My Horse. It's going to be a great time. For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131. Horsetrailerpros.com. Hey, it's John here. I just want to let you guys know I got back from schooling at Magnolia Sands Farm here in Ocala, Florida. The cross-country field is perfectly suited for a first outing on a young horse or schooling your upper-level horse. Magnolia Sands offers over 110 jumps ranging from starter to intermediate plus multiple banks, ditches, and waters. They're constantly updating their courses and have even added new ditches and a starter ditch wall. Conveniently located in Northeast Ocala, Magnolia Sands has made it easy for riders and trainers with online waivers, Venmo, and PayPal, and even offer a golf cart for guests. MagnoliaSandsFarm.com Equibrew, now available in the USA. It's a live probiotic that you feed daily to your horses. The live microbes go into your horse's gut and cleans up the gut wall, creating a healthy gut system. Equibrew is an essential part of my feeding program. My horses love to eat it, and it does a really good job of promoting gut health and also good behavior and great performances. It's something I recommend for all of your horses, no matter what they do in their careers. It's so affordable, I can use it on all of my horses in the barn, not just my top horses. Order Equibrew today by going to BrickfieldNutrition.com or calling 850-879-2649. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros, and we are here in our Equibrew segment. And what's really cool, guys, and I'm super excited and my dogs are excited about, we've got Pet Brew, Yep, too. That just came in. I know, I'm so excited to try it. And then I want Human Brew. It's, you know, the human brew, will, it's going to take a little bit more time because you got to go through a lot of FDA sure. when, when we take it. But, you know, not that this came from me, but you can take the Equibrew. But, but does, it, does it taste delicious? It tastes really, I mean, I... We can do a live tasting. We can do a live tasting. Yeah. We could. I don't know. We could I do that. I don't want to get you But Equibrew is a great, great live <laughs> probiotic. You have a lot of your horses on it. Yeah, right? I'm, I'm, virtually all the horses are on it. Right. Except, and for I was one, telling, except for the one I can't catch right I now. I was telling Mia, you know, it work, how it works. It's it's microbes that go into the gut system and, and ends up, they go with enzymes and they clean everything out and they they make a nice healthy gut. So it can affect everything from behavior to coats to their appetites and really just helps. Well, I will say happy. all of my horses, but particularly Prophet, who is a bit tricky and finicky and difficult, are on it and 
all of them are doing great. Like profit looks right. like a million bucks. So it's good stuff. It is good stuff. Um, so we're terrible hosts. Sorry. <laughs> we got, got Mia here. We got Mia Farley yes. here. Mia, Which, she's just like. <laughs> well, you know, we were trying to keep the sponsor happy. You know how that goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's, I get it. he's a tricky I'm sponsor. Yeah, he's Mia Farley. So, Mia, we're you were on. I think, as we said in the opening segment, you were on our very first show in season one. And one thing we didn't bring you was a Big Mac. Sorry, because you had never tasted one. You're a California girl, and you uh -huh. never tasted a Big Mac at that first show. Yeah, when I was tasting, I almost said Whopper, and then I realized that's a different. That's a different. That's a different. That's whole. Different. Yeah. It says a lot of good things about you that you're not up to speed yeah. on all of that. <laughs> right? What do you eat? Um, I eat Cadbury eggs this time of year. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I haven't had one yet. Oh, they're so good. I know. I tried yeah, to find one at the airport. They're on sale now because it's not Easter anymore. Oh, right. Well, let's yeah, let's so. sing your accolades because you have you have quite a few. And I just I know you um, are working and have been working with the O'Connors, David specifically, right? Yep. You have a couple horses that are coming up that one of Karen's and one of David's yeah. <laughs> one's at three star one's at the four star so wait which is which uh, Karen's uh, got the Invictus horse mm -hmm. hold uh, on hold on let me answer he's, yeah <laughs> go Karen, Karen owns Invictus who she bred um out of a thoroughbred mare that she used to ride and that is a cool horse I saw it when I was young yeah he's I know all of a sudden he's seven this year so he's not four anymore and Karen and I were just talking like about this three years and I was ago. like yeah now tell I didn't us, realize. Tell us about the other one that's cool. Phelps is pretty cool too. Look at her He's face. A, <laughs> I know he makes me red. <laughs> <laughs> Does Woods anymore? What? Does Woods? Sometimes. So I <laughs> Not as much as Phelps. <laughs> but tell us about Phelps because he's kind of cool. He's cool. Um, he is. He's a off-track thoroughbred by Tiz now. And See, that's a good... That's yeah, good. he's so smart. Yeah. And he always just kind of kept jumping a little bit higher. So we thought we were done at prelim. Right. And then he qualified for intermediate and he was doing well. So we were like, well, let's do intermediate. Let's go. And then he just jumped in that, that much higher. And then we were like, why don't we do advanced? And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, how many, so how many advances have you done now? Oh, I don't know. He started last year. Okay. And so he's been consistent. Yeah, he's already done two four longs. But you did re in the four long at Morvin? Yeah, the four long at Morvin was a did you miracle. Win it or were you second? I got um, third. Third. That's, yeah. Hey. Yeah. Why yeah. would you say that's a miracle? Because um, he's clear show job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I already knew that answer. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's good. You're he good. Is, yeah. Makes sense. He's a good boy, and um, he always jumps just high enough. And then show jumping is his weak phase, but he only ever gets a rail. Right. And he's proven that he can jump clean. So. No, you're. I mean, and you brought that one up from. Yeah. The four-year-old as well. Like now, tell us about Karen's. Karen's horse. Um, like I said, she bred him, and I broke him when he was turning four. I saw you break Yeah. He was not easy. No, he got me off Didn't a few he, times. I saw yeah. your sidelines interview, though. You said he may or may not <laughs> It's a trick, yeah. <laughs> right. One time I was trotting out to the cross-country field. Kim was out in the corner, and I was like, wait for me. She was playing with her baby, and then right. all of a sudden she, like, trots that way, and then she looks back, and I was on the ground, and Sammy was over there. <laughs> and I was like, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> be there a little bit. <laughs> Yeah. Very cool. That's so cool. So, how many lists have you been on? I have been on the devel or the under eighteen since two thousand fourteen. The That's really good. And then you're on the developing list this year. And yeah, I've slowly Got been you're, promoted. You're older. <laughs> <laughs> you're twenty three. I'm twenty three, and yeah, yeah, soon. Mm -hmm. I'm twenty two. April twenty second. Oh, wow. Man. At least this is the twenty first. Wait, so this oh, yeah. is the twenty second. We'll be in Kentucky for your birthday? No. no it's the I next think, week. Usually yeah. it's we'll be the in week Ocala before. for your birthday. Mm -hmm. Remember, I was trying to be in, Oca in Kentucky. Yeah, you that had week. the dates totally wrong. Oh, I was wrong. I know, yeah. So tell us who you're taking to Kentucky. I'm taking David's Horse Phelps to mm -hmm. Kentucky to do the four short. And awesome. then I have BGS Firecracker, who's my longtime partner. Oh, yeah, partner. let's <laughs> talk about her. So she's 13. Yep. Tell us about her. She is a red mare named Firecracker. <laughs> and so. <laughs> Super informative <that's> stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she's Irish. Yeah, she's Irish. She's 13. I've had her since she was seven. Mm -hmm. um, I started with her when I was still in California. I right. did one one star, which is now two star. And then moved out here. Is uh, that when Dave, was David doing a clinic over there? What, yeah, he was doing a clinic at Tammy's Barn. Right. And so he, he saw you. Yeah, and he saw me. He asked me what I was doing, and I was like, 
you're in California riding my <laughs> yeah. horse. Right. Yeah. And uh, he was like, well, you should try the East Coast. And I was like, oh, okay. Right. So I tried the East Coast, and I told him I would be here for three months. And then three months came, and I was like, I'm going to go home now. And then you met Woods. And then, not yet. No, and that Woods hadn't come in. <laughs> I was trying for you, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. And, hey, Zach. <laughs> um, and so three months came, and I was like, all right, I'm going to go now. And he was like, oh, well, you did well, so why don't you stay till Fair Hill? And I was like, okay. So I did Fair Hill. That was pretty fun. Yeah, you did well there. I did the, that, three the three long that three year. Long, yeah. yeah, I got... I, yeah, I can't remember what you I were, did. You were top placings. Um, and you did pretty good. Top, yeah, 10. But top 10. You're so self-absorbed. I can't. No, she doesn't <laughs> keep track. And then you were second in the four long uh, with her. Where was The that? next year. The yeah, national Fair championships. Yeah. And right? that was a muddy year, if I remember correct. Yeah. Um, and she was awesome. Right. She's the only, you know, and not to bring up bad memories. Uh-huh. In corners. So don't. No, well, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> I remember because you were, went with me and Karen with the pony gator to somebody's barn that you were going to try on. Or no, you were going to Red Hills. Yeah. And you had did, <laughs> you did like a sliding <laughs> thing across the ground yeah, there. Yeah, I call that the Bubba Scrub, which is, um, <laughs> so <laughs> if you follow <laughs> no, Supergrass at all. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love that. Yeah, and she she bubble scrubbed the corner and went like that, and then kind of just kept going that way. Yeah. But I also was part of it because I lost my balance and pulled, and it just all it's all, all yeah, gravity took. Yeah, yeah, gravity took. Yeah, gravity took. But then you're you're so I mean you got back up from that, you dusted off, and then you you went on. Cause I know she's back out. You were like third in the intermediate at rocking horse. This year. Yeah. Yeah, she was. And then you're saving her, and mm -hmm. you're getting ready to do the four short at. Kentucky. Yep. So we started out intermediate rocking horse this year, and then we're kind of just making our way to. Kentucky. Well, you know, it's I think for all of us, when uh, John can attest to this, when you're when you're taking your horses and going places, something you don't have to compete every weekend or every two weeks. You know, you just kind of plan it out and have your destination where you're going and go for it, right? And that's what we found that works best with her. I think every horse is different, but she's kind of an every six week type of horse. <laughs> The yeah. weeks keep it getting makes, longer, it but makes sense. <laughs> whatever. Every so, six. what do you yeah. do? What's the plan after, after Kentucky, that, um, is it, or is that the destination? So, no, the destination. So, basically, Kentucky is a big plan, um, but it is not the destination this year. Um, the destination is Stragum in Poland. So, you applied. I did. Good. Yeah. Alisa applied. I yeah. yeah. Is that a long or a short? It's, it's a, a short. short. It's okay. a Nations Cup. Got so, it. did you do the Paris one too? Yes. There's, so it wouldn't make sense if you did Yeah, because that's three weeks after. Right. Yeah. What are the dates of that? Uh, they're in July. Yeah, that's July. They're, they're three weeks apart, and so that's good. Yeah. It's, that's exciting. So we're going to see. Maybe, maybe we'll all be there. Sweet. Did you apply? No. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. No, not this year. No, next year. Look, I'm just trying to get to Ocala, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ocala International. That's right. I mean, you just got to gotta set your goals. Aim for your goals. I'm aiming for Ocala. Hey, and then we'll, that's a we'll good worry goal. about we'll worry about the next thing after that. So why don't we do this? We're going to take a break. Thanks everybody for. Well, 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 well. Thank you, Equibrew, for sponsoring this segment. Yep. You guys are awesome. We appreciate it. I just it. brought the bottle. That's <laughs> yeah. all I did. No. Awesome. Great job, Equibrew. I can't wait for Pet Brew. And make sure you check them out. Uh, it was at Brickfield Nutrition. Mm -hmm. com. Brickfieldnutrition.com is where you guys go and get your Equa Brew, your Pet Brew, and maybe someday soon, your Human Brew. That's true. We'll and we out. got Calf Brew, if you have any cows. I okay. have one. You do? Yeah. Right, perfect. I will talk, talk about to, the cow when we get back. I'll talk to Equa Brew and see if we can hook you up. All right, we're going right. to be right back with more from Mia. Grant Showalter has over 15 years of equine body work and saddle fitting experience. His technique allows him to identify and alleviate tightness in muscles. He uses trigger point massage to release points of restriction. Grant has over a decade of experience fitting and adjusting a wide variety of saddles. His expertise in equine physiology coupled with a thorough understanding of the importance of a properly fitted saddle allows him to quickly identify and correct any balance issues. Grant can also adjust your saddle on site. Grant works on all of my competition horses and I have noticed a significant improvement in their performance at competitions and their overall way of going. Grant's based in Ocala, Florida year-round, but regularly travels to the surrounding areas. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 484-639-4454. Hi, my name's Leslie Law, and we are a proud supporter of Jump for Joy. We've been using their portable cross-country jumps now for about 10 to 15 years. 
We love these jumps because as you can see, they're very easy to move. We don't need to take another person on the other side and I could place this fence wherever I wanted to very easily. Equibrew, now available in the USA. It's a live probiotic that you feed daily to your horses. The live microbes go into your horse's gut and cleans up the gut wall, creating a healthy gut system. Equibrew is an essential part of my feeding program. My horses love to eat it, and it does a really good job of promoting gut health and also good behavior and great performances. It's something I recommend for all of your horses, no matter what they do in their careers. It's so affordable, I can use it on all of my horses in the barn, not just my top horses. Order Equibrew today by going to BrickfieldNutrition.com or calling 850-879-2649. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. We are still here with the California girl, Mia Farley. And by the way, I think I've told you this before, you have an actress name. Mia Farley. It is a fame name. For Wait, sure. no, Far Chris Farley. No, yeah, that's who I always think of every time I see you. But I'm just saying you have an actress name. Oh. Ooh. Just. Wait, are you related to Chris Farley? My dad's name is Chris Farley, so it's close enough. Oh, oh wow. That's so cool. Yeah. That guy was awesome. He actually is from my hometown. Who? Chris Farley. Why are you partnering? Not, not this Chris Farley. The <laughs> well, Chris it's the last Farley. name. Chris Farley right here. <laughs> that's um, cool. But anyway, I always thought that, so, you know. Oh, thank you. You can never change it, even if you got married to somebody. Even if I... Oh. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let's not start putting I'm pressure on I'm not saying any situations. rumors. I mean... I don't know. Oh, My man. hands are already sweaty. I'm uncomfortable now. <laughs> okay. Why uh, would you be uncomfortable? Look, he's leaving. Yeah, and we're done. <laughs> Let's go back to um, your plans for the summer. So, let's say you get to go to Poland. And then you get to go to Paris. Then what's, are you, you applied for Pan Ams, evidently, yes. Yeah. Good. Well, you can't, <laughs> you can't be considered unless you apply. 100%. Everybody out there, we say that all the time, right? Yeah. So that's in Chile. So what, what would that be for you? What excitement does that give you? Because she's a, she's a good one to try to make it with. Right. So tell us. Well, so with Firecracker, because she is an amazing horse right. um, and she does we decided at four long she can't quite hold up to those mm -hmm. and so we're gonna make her a nation's cup horse and she's gonna be competitive at those I think that, I think that's a smart plan yeah yeah and so um, we're just trying to pick what's best for her so the people listening so the Pan Am so everybody knows it's a step down it's three star right so that would make sense. You could do the three star long with her and then yep. the four short nation cups with her. Yep. Um, that's in her wheelhouse, right? Right, yeah. I think it's all safe for her and I think she would be very good at it. Um, the Pan Ams mean a lot to yeah. me. Yeah, because that would be a, a first team. I mean, awesome. John um, John made the team. What? Why do we keep bringing up all the bad stuff? What's wrong with you? <laughs> John I feel made, singled out now. John made the team. Woods, I'm out of here with you, man. <laughs> He didn't get to go. I mean, come on, it was an honor to be Yeah, for sure. No, team. It's, it's great. Right? Absolutely. You should totally go and I mean, you'll have a great time. Yeah. Unless you don't put hey, your horse in the plane and then it's yeah. not near as much fun. <laughs> you can talk about it. Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, for the rest I mean, of your I, life. I tend to put my foot in my mouth because I think we had somebody else here that was like talking about the world championships and then... Yeah, and then the other was, like, person who was here was one of... Yeah, oh man. Yeah, you do a good job of that. It's great. I don't know. But no, hey, wouldn't. so it'll be exciting, and it's in Santiago, Chile. So who is your core group that you put on that application? Because it's a long ap application. You got to name all these people and who's going and yeah. what's going on. Was he on there? Yep. So he's not on there. <laughs> okay. Is he a support crew? Yeah, he's support crew. Good. Yeah. Who else is on there? Um, I have, <laughs> I have Woods. I have my mom, my dad. Yep. Um, some French friends of mine that have always been very supportive. Right. Of course, David. Um, my friend Sophie, who was with us over the summer. Right. Sophie Tuller, she would be my groom. Mm -hmm. um, and so. It's so. It's a big. It's a big it, process. It is a yeah. big process. Yeah. I mean, because Elisa was telling me about filling it out, and we've we've 
done them before. We, I've never done it, and Briggs has never done it, but it takes a long time. Yeah, it did. I did it the last day, and I was like, oh my God, it's 11.59. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. Send, send, send. She yeah. at least had hers prepped and ready to go. I but didn't. You, you didn't at all? No, because no you had, I would be like you. Yeah. You would totally have, like, uh, have passport numbers and yeah. dates of expiration and all that stuff. Right. You managed that all of, in the yeah, last hour? Yeah, with two deodorant sticks later, I was good to go. <laughs> yeah. Usually the way I do it is I'm like, Jen, you got to do this. Yeah. And then she says, no, and then I have to do it. Yeah. And then I do it the last minute. Yeah. So you push the button, you got it submitted. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say, you mentioned David. And so I just wanted to make sure we got some time to talk about his whole world has changed. He's right. not here as much. We had him on recently and talked about that. So how has that changed things for you? Um, it's Good changed <laughs> quite you. a bit. Yeah. Um, so David, when he was here all the time, at least he would kind of see me out in the corner of the field and tell me a, a few days later, you know, that was wrong. <laughs> right. <laughs> a few days later. Yeah. Right? You need to fix that. I was like, that's why it wasn't going well. Right. <laughs> no, um, he would always be there. And now I kind of have to be, when I run into problems, it's actually, I was telling him it's, it's, I'm thinking a lot more. I stop and I'm like, what would David do? <laughs> right. Um, he would go like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be lots of hand signals. <laughs> yeah. So I was I was jumping Phelps the other day and I was kind of running into. He gets a bit quick. He right. Gets a little bit thorough ready. And I was running into problems and then I stopped. And I walked a little bit and I was like, What would David do? And then I was like, Oh, you tell me to fix this over here. And so I did that and it worked. Oh wow. Yeah. See? And so. That's called a Rolodex of what to do. Right. That's good. You yeah. got one. And it's helpful. Videos and everything are helpful. He still comes every two weeks. Right. Um, and makes sure the horses are all in check. But it's interesting. Like at Terra Nova. I didn't have quite the show I wanted. Um, yeah, I saw you got a little upset. It, I, it was not that bad of a show. I think I was around. handling the regiment too much. Oh, yeah. I, you I can't touch do that. Stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? That's not good. I think that was the problem. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was interesting because I <laughs> called you and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> You're supposed to use rubber gloves. Yeah. Uh, and, and I now understand that I didn't know yeah. this on the regiment that you're talking about, but it's it's a regulator for mares. Mm -hmm. um, but there's also a pill you can give them that's a regimate pill. That sounds safer. Maybe you should look into that, Mia. Yeah. Isn't that it right? It did. Yeah, the cap please. popped off. Oh. And so. Oh, <laughs> please. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, that's all right. Yeah. But like I said, your round wasn't, he tried hard. Right. And, and you, you did Well, a, that also wasn't fair. I can go on about the warm-up, but. <laughs> the warm-up was bad? Couldn't get a jump. <laughs> and uh, so. Uh, well, we, need, we need to talk about that. <laughs> Three minutes and 28 seconds. So were you there by yourself? Was I was there by myself, kind of. I had a friend who was helping me. Um, but she's only doing me a favor, and so... Well, why didn't you talk to any of us that were there? Well, who, I learned my lesson. <laughs> yeah, who, who was in the ring? Who was in the warm-up ring? <laughs> was there no one you knew that you could have been like, hey, I need a jump? Um, no, I ended up going to... Caroline was kind enough to give me her jump. Perfect. Um, and Perfect. then, so I I was that. trying to get you to single out. But it was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Caroline well, was I, kind enough. To. It's a conversation that we were having in the, the Pro Rider Council. Yeah. And Zach's on that, so we can talk about that when he comes on. Yeah, and it's tough. Zach was my therapist after. He's like, what happened? I was like, couldn't get a jump. <laughs> so how much? How many show jumps did you do? I had about four, and, it, and it's I could do that on a horse like Firecracker, who's right. a jumper, but a horse like Phelps has his customized warm-up. Where you go small, build. Yeah, and yeah. he's one that you prepare, um, you know, some you want to make careful and have them have a rail right before you go in, right. but you yep. never want to have it for else he crumbles. Right. Um, and it's so I only ride. had, yeah, and so I only had two riders before me until I finally got a jump and then it was rushed and yeah, it just problem. could have been a lot better than it was. I'm sorry. Cause we're all there. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, I felt bad. Oh, it was just as much my fault as it was everything else. Cause I think cause... I was even there with, I mean, we could have, you just needed to ask. Yeah. Or just start crying. That usually helps too. <laughs> I, I think she was. Yeah. <laughs> 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 After. Oh, Lisa goes, Mia's crying. I was like, well, she, I mean, it wasn't that bad. You, no, so it wasn't. There was a pre-story. It was, pre it was yeah, it, it was, was a pre-story. Build up. I yeah, want to give you some advice. Up. Every time that I want to cry yeah. at an event, I just yell at people instead. And oh. it's but, way better for me. So this, this is a good segue because you know who he looks like when he says, I don't want to cry, I don't want to cry. <laughs> don't cry, don't cry. I, that's just Dwayne. I feel like... What's his name? Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. I yeah. feel like that. I mean, it's very, very have similar you ever seen Jum Have you ever seen Jumanji? No. 
I'm sure Woods has. has have you seen this? Jumanji? <laughs> like, you know, I've seen this at the scene Johnson and then he's, he's got nothing. Don't cry, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. It's, it's him. And not even a little. But yeah, you know, yeah it, it was it. the regimen. That's all it was. Right. Well, now, word to self, everybody out there, use either the pill or the gloves. Right. Yeah, and don't use pop the pill. The, don't. <laughs> just practice Don't abstinence. pop the top. <laughs> so, we're excited for you. We plan on seeing you in Poland, Paris, and Santiago. Santiago, right? Santiago. In Chile. Yeah. You, that's world traveler. <laughs> Is your passport up to date? Um, uh, yeah. Have you gone it's, to... She knows when it's due, <laughs> yeah. and she'll get it that day. Don't yeah. worry about it. Have you gone to Europe with Firecracker yet? I haven't, and I'm excited, I think... Have you gone to Europe I at all? Think, oh, I mean, with a horse. No. So this is the first yeah, trip over. this would be the first trip. And I'm excited for her. She deserves... She does deserve it. The world, yeah. so... Or at least Poland. She deserves France. Poland, yeah, in France, yeah. yeah. At, so. least Poland. <laughs> at least <laughs> Poland. At least Poland. You just have to put your ears in with a gunfire. <laughs> oh, man, I know. No joke. That is terrible. It is a little bit close. That's a little bit scary to go, but I'm but sure it, it's, it's going to be It's not going to be scary. It'll we'll be showing. We'll be fine. Yeah. And you have I'll some regimen. You just pour it on your hand. You're fine. Or I'll throw it on someone if they go. <laughs> <That's> exactly. <laughs> close. So before we wrap this up, again, I just want to remind everybody, and you as well, Mia, you can go to I Love My Horse at Kentucky. It, I'm going to get the booth that it's in, but it's also in the commercial, which is coming up here in what the breaks. And you can get the John and Rick Show t-shirts. And you go, you get them autographed. And if you get the most autographs, you get to come be on the show. We're not sure yet if we're going to allow riders to do it. <laughs> I was going to say I'll do it. Yeah, we'll, probably, we'll probably have you on again anyway. <laughs> but we're going to, hopefully it'll be some mega fan who gets to come on the show, whether that's in person or in Zoom. We'll just have to sort that out depending on where yep. they are. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, so it will be awesome. Make sure you guys go to I Love My Horse and do that. And we are going to be right back with the one and only Zachary Dackery Brandt. <laughs> when I'm in the middle of my competition season, it's easy to get behind in my hydration or just feel exhausted. When that happens, I turn to Jumpstart IV Therapy. Jumpstart IV Therapy is a mobile therapy serving the state of Florida. Their team of healthcare professionals are there to help the equestrian athlete feel their best so they can perform their best. Your IV treatment of fluids, vitamins, minerals, and medicines will give you an exclusive advantage on and off your horse. Give them a call at 407-449-0532 or find them on the web at jumpstartivtherapy.com. Jump for Joy fences are easy to move, lightweight, durable, and low maintenance. So we're out here on the cross country. We just finished over in the show jumping over the Jump for Joy fences. Had a great time schooling over them. They're really nice and easy to move, so we were able to adjust some things and really have the exact school that we needed thanks to the Jump for Joy fences. I love them. Order yours at jumpforjoyusa.com. Hey, it's John here. I just want to let you guys know I got back from schooling at Magnolia Sands Farm here in Ocala, Florida. The cross-country field is perfectly suited for a first outing on a young horse or schooling your upper-level horse. Magnolia Sands offers over 110 jumps ranging from starter to intermediate plus multiple banks, ditches, and waters. They're constantly updating their courses and have even added new ditches and a starter ditch wall. Conveniently located in Northeast Ocala, Magnolia Sands has made it easy for riders and trainers with online waivers, Venmo, and PayPal, and even offer a golf cart for guests. MagnoliaSandsFarm.com Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros, and we are here with the one and only Zach Brandt, getting ready for Kentucky. Thanks for coming on, man. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Yeah, well, we didn't have any other choices, so. I figured as much. <laughs> no, no, we I had several. It. We had we had several, but I, we wanted but I you. Was the top, I was the top choice yes. of who was left. You, we wanted you. We wanted somebody who was going to be awesome I'm thinking about how that worked, but. No, you were on the top of the list. Yeah, you were. You Thank were actually you the first choice. We said Thank we want you. Mia and Zach. I think you just wanted to say Zachary Daiquiri. Yeah. I Already, I want you to know, this isn't a surprise now. I've already got the daiquiris. Perfect. They're ready to go. That's great. Hopefully, we can drink them this time. So, Zach, the last time you were on the show, <laughs> the last time you were on the show, you weren't married. I was, and I am now. Yeah. So, a lot's changed. You now have a farm, a wife. Same. Now, you have two dogs. Same dogs. Yeah, same, same dogs. dogs. Same dogs. So how's it going? How's the new farm? It's I great. know you're, we're going to talk about Kentucky and what's going on for that, but tell us, because it's, it's big. You've got a new farm. You've got a lot of stuff going on. You've got a yep. new ring. You've got barns. You have all kinds of stuff. What's happening It's there? We've got 21 acres. Um, like two, It's two miles down the road from Hits. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're like, we're just far enough away that it's quiet, but we're still, you know, we're 15 minutes from WEC, 15 minutes from 
from town That's and awesome. it, so we're not far away from anything and are we've you, yeah sorry are you busting at the seams already we originally we so the the barn when we bought the farm when we bought it, it had 10 stall had a 10 stall barn a permanent barn on the property and then we um I had when I when I was renting stalls from John I had 10 stalls there and yeah, John by the way the other day said I just Glad he's out of here. Yeah, right. <laughs> but you know what he and did. And I say all the time, I'm like, God, I wish I could go back. But it's good to know how he actually feels. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna re-roll that. He goes, I actually miss him. I was like, what? Why don't you make he it goes, sound like I said I wasn't gonna miss him? <laughs> no, I know. I was joking about that one because I was gonna go into. He actually says he missed you. So I do. I miss him too. Every time I go over there, I'm like, I just want to stay. I don't want to go you back. Should. I don't want to drive back out. So would you sell the farm and just keep renting from you? It'd make my life way better. Right? <laughs> did you get a tent? So we got um, that stabling that Clayton yep. FEI. does. Yeah, the FEI stabling. So we originally, I was going to get like, I was going to get six of those, figuring we'll have 16 horses and that's it. And then, you know, we talked it over and it seemed like the best bet was to do 20 or do 10 of those to have 20 total. And then I had to add on and do two more and have 22. And right now we have um, 25 horses. Then so, now how it works, I was telling Woods and, yeah. and Mia, we have 11 stalls and now we have 13, I mean. And we did not expect days. it to get that wild, but I mean, we've got, good, we've got amazing boarders and great clients and we've got some nice horses for sale. And Audrey, my wife, Audrey is just um, started, she, she did event for a while um, and she's just transitioned to being, uh, to doing pure dressage. And so she's, she's doing super well with that. Um, and she's got these lovely dressage horses in. Yeah, I saw a video sell. of one of them on, I think it was Facebook or Instagram, I don't know, one of, one of the books or grams. And <laughs> the books or grams? Yeah, it was one of those. That <laughs> flapjack. You're jack. showing your age here. Yeah, it was a flapjack. And I've never heard anybody call it that, but I liked it. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, it was a beautiful gray horse. Trot yeah, down. and she was like coming soon. I was like, oh, now I gotta know. She's very clever with her marketing. She's she's way better at it than I am. Yeah, no, I know. She Anytime never, you have yeah. a good post, I'm like, Audrey made that. You yeah, should, you should have seen when she was getting ready to get married. Coming soon. Yeah, right, <laughs> right, totally. The groom. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's coming cool. gone now. So so, 21 acres, mm -hmm. 23 horses. Have you worked out land management and all that? Yeah. So we're we we when we bought the place. We basically like redid. We did right. redid all the paddocks, redid all the fencing. We it's took all the fencing down. We put put all new fencing in, um, and honestly, the way we laid it out, it it works great. It was great, Rick, because he had to stay at my farm while that farm was getting sorted. And what he doesn't know is I would go over there every night and sabotage stuff. Yeah, because it took because like, you didn't want me to. Leave. I didn't want him to leave, so I'd be like <laughs> it took pulling like down six things. Six or eight months. I mean, y'all took your time. I think we bought it. We kept being like it. the ring yeah. stills and finishing. I'm like, I don't know. It's, 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 the pudding's <laughs> gone. I'm not sure what to tell you. Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Six to eight months to get it ready, right? Yeah, it did. It took, we, we bought it at the end of April, or we closed on it at the end of April, and, um, and we moved in in November. Yeah, so That's it, great. Now, I was, went to, Briggs and I went to your... Um, yeah, the, my birthday yeah, party. That birthday party yeah. was awesome. It was like, really awesome. Dougie was out there grilling. He was grilling, yeah. Had, um, Steve, had chef's Steve outfit. with all the big bonfire. And yeah, it was, it was awesome. awesome. We did. We had a great time. Yeah, it was super. So was it, it's so a fun. lovely place. So Sh shockingly, I missed that. Yeah, unbelievable. Sure. You, you say you miss me. I Where do. Were you? I don't know. But you don't show up when it counts. John, you just do that. You don't I show know. up to my poker nights. I you know. don't show up to I'm my not. birthday. You're right. He did show up to your bachelor party. And your he wedding. did show up to my bachelor party. And your wedding. And he did show up to my wedding. Yeah. So you got to give him that. That's true. But I. That's yeah, really important. Yeah. I mean, when it matters, I'm there. I feel bad about the birthday thing, but like, look. It's okay, I forgive you. I've got, thank you. I've got issues, man. I know. I do. I know, so I let's, do too. Let's talk, about, <laughs> let's talk about what's coming up for you. So you got this cool horse. You've been working on different issues like we all do. Um, tell us about Direct Advance. So he's a horse that John found for me as a four-year-old mm -hmm. seven, seven years ago. Um, and he's been nothing shy of super difficult. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, yeah, I've fallen off more times than I can count, right. and I've uh, been frustrated a lot. So thanks for that. Yeah, you're welcome. You're not making like people want to call me for horses. <laughs> but he is probably the best horse I've ever had, and and John has helped me with him so much. Um, 
and he's not even paying me to say that. But that's true. He's um, I'm cheap too. He's <laughs> he's um, he's an amazing horse, and there's definitely been kinks in sorting out the rideability and um, you know getting figuring out the right ride myself and how I need to think through it and how I need to how I need to ride him and how we need to prepare him for the events and stuff and um, and between John and me we've we've played with a bunch of different things and I think we've really the timing is right and I think we've really figured it out yeah that's good because you know the the horse has the ability to do all three phases right I mean he's when you lay down a good dressage test it's it's a good dressage test and when you do your show jump is typically flawless he's a great he's an amazing jumper so the issues cross country just come down to I think you know all of us with rideability as you said Mm -hmm. so you did you play around with bits and what you need to do so he's a he's a really brave horse like whatever you put in front of him he's gonna jump it's just making sure I can get him there right um and um so yeah I mean we've played around with different bits and played around with different sort of ways of um of, of training him and and preparing him and preparing myself Um, but really honestly I feel like what it's come down to more than anything else is just like really just the basics and and focusing on you know as much as you know I'm I may want to like even I took him over to we jumped him this morning or this this afternoon and I like as much as I might want to like do coursework with him and make sure I have everything ready to go right focusing on the details of the basics and and just exercises and stuff like that right really really help help him a lot give us some insight um me <laughs> on, on, on this yeah so i think the challenge with any special horse which i would say roscoe is a very special horse is you have to be able to as as zach was saying you have to be able to have them prepped for the right competition right right and I think yeah. that's, as you get to know a horse, that becomes easier. So I would say being critical, when we were first starting with him and Zach was first going advanced with him, you're like, okay, yeah, we can sort of, what I call Mr. Miyagi this, and like wax on, wax off, and then assume it's all going to work at the competition. Right. But that's very difficult, right, to do when you're also trying to learn how to compete a horse. Right. Um, and I would say, you know, I feel like, Zach and Roscoe are completely ready for Kentucky because, for example, today we had this great jump school. It was all of the exercises that we needed to do, to do, to do, to do. <laughs> <laughs> to do. Uh, but we didn't have to do any excess because for the first time, I would say this season, Zach is in a place where, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, but where he looks very comfortable knowing that when he has to perform on the day, whether that's Rocking Horse or Ocala or Terra Nova or Kentucky, it doesn't matter. He's ready to go. Right. Well, that's, that's good insight, right? And, and it's always a learning to do that. You've, you've had some injuries along the way, um, and I know some challenges with that. I think what we're going to do is take you into the next segment, talk about how you overcame those challenges and what your future is. Uh, like we talk with Mia, what, what are you planning the rest of the year? Sounds good. So we're going to do that and we're going to talk about Mr. Miyagi. We'll be right back. <laughs> For a horse owner on the road, your trailer is essential. No one enjoys being stuck on the road. At Horse Trailer Pros, we repair, renovate, and maintain all makes and models of horse trailers. We work directly with your insurance company or manufacturer for warranty repairs and insurance claims. Our state-of-the-art facility provides quick turnaround and friendly customer service. Considering a living quarter conversion, we do those too. Find comfort on the road with Horse Trailer Pros. Call or text 352-804-2131. Horsetrailerpros.com. Grant Showalter has over 15 years of equine body work and saddle fitting experience. His technique allows him to identify and alleviate tightness in muscles. He uses trigger point massage to release points of restriction. Grant has over a decade of experience fitting and adjusting a wide variety of saddles. His expertise in equine physiology coupled with a thorough understanding of the importance of a properly fitted saddle allows him to quickly identify and correct any balance issues. Grant can also adjust your saddle on site. Grant works on all of my competition horses, and I have noticed a significant improvement in their performance at competitions and their overall way of going. 
Grant's based in Ocala, Florida year-round, but regularly travels to the surrounding areas. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 484-639-4454. I Love My Horse Eventing Boutique has been serving event riders for nine years with its mobile trailer. They have traveled up the East Coast and as far west as Montana. We look forward to seeing you all at their 30 by 30 booth in spot 108 on the main floor at the Land Rover Kentucky three-day event. They have many items including breeches, tall boots, helmets, show coats, show shirts, equine books, horse feed advisors, and are your complete cross-country supply center. Brands like Shockmo, Good Rider, Fair Play, RJ Classic, Castle, Nunfinder, Brands of Q, KER Feed, Trafalgar Square, Newt Feed, Tonics, and Eco Gold. Plus, guys, don't forget, this is the place to go to get your John and Rick Show shirt, to be able to get all the autographs so that you can win the grand prize of coming on the John and Rick Show. Make sure you check out I Love My Horse. It's going to be a great time. Welcome back to the John and Rick Show, brought to you by Horse Trailer Pros. We're in episode... Seven? Six. Seven. 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 We're in... Season four. Season four. Yeah. Help me out now. I'm trying. And this is our fifth segment with Zach Brantz came back to us. And, you know, we, we left the last one, Zach, talking about how John made it where you had to stay with him for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> Selling the most difficult animal you can find. <laughs> and so far, you've stayed away, but you come and visit, right? But now, let's <laughs> talk seriously. You did have some pretty, pretty tough injuries over the last... I would say three years, right? Four, yeah, four, four, four and a half, yeah. Um, you, you, you're, you're healthy. You got your leg fixed. I know there was compart- just to be clear, it was not a horse that I sold him. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, very no, that's true. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> you went through all that, and you've gotten yourself put together. You're gonna head for the your second, actually second attempt at a five star, mm-hmm. right? You were at Maryland. Things didn't happen right, and here you are redirected back to this five star. Um, so you're gonna be the rookie at Kentucky. Um, what are your plans after you get in the top 10 from uh, Maryland 5 to move on? Uh, go home and, and uh, take a deep breath. <laughs> and drink a daiquiri. Yeah, drink a daiquiri. That's right. Yeah, drink the drink daiquiris daiquiri. that, John, that John has brought. Right. Yeah. It was pretty, was pretty sad. He, we, he, he told me when we were at Maryland, he told me he had this great surprise for me. And I didn't know what it was, and we were going to celebrate after cross country day. And then my horse, just freak thing, ended up having a nosebleed uh, when I got held early on in co- on the course, and so I had to stop and um, and retire. And I get back to my Airbnb, and I look in the freezer, and I see all these like frozen daiquiris in the freezer and they were way less fun to drink like, after that day that was going to be my surprise <laughs> and so yeah so hopefully we're going to drink some daiquiris we're definitely going to drink daiquiris. we're definitely going to drink daiquiris this horse is ready to go he, he is ready to go i mean we're we're looking at what 11 and a half minutes right conditioning's getting there mm-hmm. yeah yeah so so what applications have you gotten in with the uscf honestly i've not i've, I've actually not applied for any i i've just been focusing on trying to produce my horse and produce a good result at the level and um, and just keep on working at being as, as good as I can be with him because I feel like um, although he's got at this point now extensive experience at four star sure. um, and he's starting to gain experience at five star I still feel like he and I both have a little ways to go in terms of being as competitive as we can be and I think given a little bit more time I think he and I both can be really competitive at, at five star. Sure. Um, and and I'm sort of waiting for my time. Like okay, that. let's take the applications off the, the the deck. Let's go with you have a successful five star at Kentucky. What is your plan for the fall? <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna focus on Kentucky, and then we're gonna go back to Maryland and be awesome there, or maybe go to Europe and do something there. Yeah, I think that's true. Uh, yeah, honestly, to be totally honest, I've not thought about anything past April thirtieth. Well, that's good. To be honest, so you I got just, I, and to be clear for those watching. But not watching on YouTube, but listening. I only answered that question because Zach looked at me. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. He did look at you. What do I, what do, I do next? Yeah. Uh, well, and that's understandable. You've, you've got your, your mindset on Kentucky. Well, I will um, say, like, when I was younger and I was a kid, I'd like, I'd, or not a kid, but, like, you know, early 20s, I'd, you know, have these, and not that I don't have goals and I don't have plans. I absolutely do. But I think I've found more than anything else, especially with a horse like this, that the 
taking your time and, and focusing on the process so much is so much more important and gets you so much further that way. And really being having long-term goals, but really focusing on the things that you have to do in the short term to end up achieving those long-term goals and not get overly fixated on the long-term goals ahead of the short-term things that you yeah. have to do to achieve those long-term goals. I mean, I can goals. agree with that. I mean, we, we build our lives on, on doing different things, obviously, with with my career, Lisa's career, Briggs' career, but we people build out things differently, right? So with that being said, one thing that just came into my mind, John, and you can talk to this fact, typically, if it's a rookie at Kentucky, you haven't really experienced the whole experience of Kentucky, but you're lucky because last year, didn't you do the four short at Kentucky? I did that a couple of years ago. A couple of yeah. years. So yeah. we now have the four short at Kentucky, which we never had before. So this kind of gives, gives experiences to people that are in the four short to come up to do the five. So it's going to be not that you are experiencing it for the first time, yes, at the five star, but do you think that gives you advantage at least have having competed there? I think it gives, give, yeah, I mean, I, it, for sure. And you 100%. ran around the ACs at the same time. Yeah, and the right? ACs. You know, you know the venue well. It definitely does, yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about Terra Nova because you went to Terra Nova this two weeks ago and you had a good performance. Let's talk about that. So just talk us through the whole the whole weekend. Obviously, I know, but don't tell me. Tell these guys. Tell yeah, Rick tell about me. the weekend. I was there. I was watching you. Um, yeah, no, honestly, I, I had a great go at Terra Nova, and um, it was, you know, he's been classically a very difficult horse and a difficult, the type of horse, too, that at the advanced horse trials and at the four shorts, he doesn't typically feel great. It, right. It, you know, it feels he's got loads of scope and a bunch of jump and a great gallop. But he's on the shorter, you know, shorter format courses where there's not a lot of room to gallop. Um, it sort of just always feels like he's, you know, he gets so strong and and wants to run away with me the whole time. So um, they don't usually feel like the most rhythmic runs. And so at the four longs, it always feels like he feels amazing, he feels right. awesome because he has room to actually gallop, and I can let go of him a bit. Um, and which like really looking forward to Kentucky for that. But um, he was actually so rideable. At and, Terra Nova. And, and to interject with that, it was a Mark uh, Phillips um, course, and it was twisty turn. It wasn't, it wasn't wide open galloping. Yeah, no, so it, it wasn't. So you had some maneuverability that you had to do. So I did watch you going cross country. You looked super. Um, I saw you at the last corner we are talking about with Elisa, and I think you did the five there. I mean, it worked out perfect for you. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you had a great score. I mean, you've been working on the dressage. The horse can score well, and if Get me if I'm wrong. I think he scored a 33 in the in the four. See, I paid. You, your research is awesome. Yeah, no, Rick's good at this. I, no, I just knew because I was there. there. Yeah. So and then you had a double clear show jump. Yeah, he he jumped. I was thrilled with my with my dressage test, um, and and he jumped. He just jumped. He, he I don't looked, even think I he think had a rub. Fantastic show jump. I think it's difficult just to sort of throw this out there. It is very difficult to do what. Mia and Zach are doing right now, which is go out in public and talk about their horses sure. two and a half weeks before the major event. Right, and like sound it is like hard. sound like they're confident in what they're doing because you don't want to come off sounding like, oh, I'm going to be amazing because right. there's so it's, much pressure it's there. Tough. So I'm just going to do it and say this: the horse is an amazing horse, and I've told that Zach this from the beginning. It's a five star horse. It's the sort of horse that it is going to be tough around the horse trials because. It wants to run and it wants to gallop and it wants to go and it is bred to do that. Right. And like you're saying, Zach, when you've gone to the four longs, it's been that's where he's been his best. And so I'm just going to put it out there because I can say it because it won't drink anything. The horse is going to be amazing at Kentucky because he is ready to show why Zach's put in the last seven years worth of work on sure. it. It is a five star horse for sure, and he's just been waiting for this weekend to come. So it's going to be awesome. Look at that. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yeah, honestly, I, I, I usually, and I, I definitely, you know, I, I, I know I've got to go out there and I've got to do my part right. and do a good job. And no, there's um, no pressure with that. It's just he's going to be awesome. Yeah, no, but he's, <laughs> he's, he does. He feels ready. He feels ready, and I feel ready. And honestly, it's going to be what it's going to be. But I'd well, go out there and do the best. No. Job. 
I said that once to David, and he was so mad at me. I said, well, I've done everything I can, and what it'll, it'll be what it'll be. And he's like, no, you make it happen. <laughs> okay, but, never mind. So, <laughs> never mind. So says, just, no, that's not right. <laughs> and so, I mean, we actually have three in here, because Woods, Woods is going to five-star. So we'll have Woods on after Kentucky, and he can tell us how it went for him. And obviously, we would love to have all three of you back, because... Uh, or Woods and then you two because you're going to be That's in the, three. Yeah, it's three. <laughs> but I would like I would like to predict that um, that you'll be the highest placed rookie at Kentucky. Thanks, man. I don't know. How many, I don't know how many. Rookies I don't know. I was like, I don't know if that's good or not. How many rookies are there? There's only one. <laughs> no, there's well, one. I'm not gonna see. We'll see what happens, and it'll be what it'll be. So no. yeah, it'll you're gonna be go great. there. You're prepared, and you're gonna do your it'll best, be and yeah, you're gonna, gonna be, be awesome. awesome. Yeah, it's gonna be exciting. Right. Can't wait to watch you. We'll be Thank there. You. Lucinda Green will be with me, and we'll be watching from outside the, the ropes. But um, good luck. Thank you, guys. Thanks for coming on, man. That Thank was awesome. Um, so remember, everybody, we've got to get. Our t-shirts from I Love My Horse, get your autographs. I'm gonna try to get Zach's and Mia's and Wood's. Um, so maybe I can come on the show as a guest. That'd be kind of fun. That'd be cool. Do we I got three right here. here. Zach will interview me. This will be awesome. We'll have daiquiris. Oh yeah, Perfect. out of the boot. Okay, so we're gonna be back. Actually, I think the next show is the Thursday of Kentucky. And I think we're gonna have somebody from overseas. Yeah who is going to be competing at badminton on the show mm -hmm. and then a guest to be determined but i know a little bit of who it is it's a pretty big guest so you guys make sure you tune in then thanks so much for watching and don't forget your t-shirts we have an awesome show for you guys today the greatest event of all time good news for the sport <laughs>